Good morning, sir, and welcome to another day of the video. It's Christmas tree light. So yeah, good morning, and welcome to another day of the video, Darwin. No, it's not morning. It's 10 o'clock at night. But what's going the hell on? What's gone on today? Today has been my first of my three 12-hour shifts. And bloody hell, was it tiring? I was so damn tired. Um, but yeah, it was it was fine. Relatively, what we did was they spent the first part of it just setting up for the day, essentially. The first two hours are basically non-hours. Everything's done by overnight, so there's not much you can do. Um, so you turn up, you set up, you get everything ready, you make, you fix all of the mistakes that overnight's obviously going to make, and then you get ready for the day, which essentially meant counting through um, all of the deliveries that we got to make sure that we've gotten everything that we necessarily need. More Christmas tree, Jesus Christ, like epilepsy. Hiccup. So that meant um, going through all of the stuff that we'd gotten delivered for the customer orders, which is what my job is. So I went through, made sure we'd got everything we hadn't. We'd gotten a load of stuff we didn't need, and um, we needed a load more stuff as well on top of that, which isn't particularly good. It's on the order tonight. It's something like 14 ducks aren't there, so someone's gone out in their shotgun tonight um, around the park. <laughs> and then there's a couple of other things as well, like pork or something like that. Um, but then as soon as we'd done that, we then had to like run around and then it was just put stuff on the shelf and then just be bombarded by people with questions. If you've ever seen the supermarket, um, at Christmas time they're bloody crazy. Try working there, it's great. It's good fun. Um, God damn it, shoes. Um, so yeah, that's oh, oh, it's the best time ever. Um, so yeah, it's horrendously busy. I end up going off on my break and then we come back and everything. And then towards the end of the day, we like setting up for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be turkey date as the turkey deliveries are being launched. I have to train my new people. Someone just looked at me outside of the window. How's it going? I have to train the two newbies tomorrow. Um, probably not going to get many breaks tomorrow. My another 12 hour shift that I'm starting tomorrow at six o'clock in the morning. Bear in mind, I have to get there early as well to like fully set up because we couldn't fully set up yesterday, today. Um, but yeah, they gave me the key to the food container with all of the food in it. And I shiz you not, there is a shit ton of money in that container. Like, there are like bird roasts in there that cost £100 each. Who? Who is spending £100 on a frickin' roast? And that's not even the whole roast, that's just one bloody damn thing. So, God knows who's spending that crazy amount of money. Um, but literally, there is a load of money in there. I've got the only key to it. So, let's try not to lose it, preferably. And now, because of my Fruit Lube, we're going out. We're going out on the towns as a friends reunion kind of thing. It's going to be great. And yeah, I'll talk to you. Well, I'll show you around and then talk to you on the way back because I need to be back in bed by two. If I, if I go to bed at two, then I'll get four hours sleep. Wait. Home time. And my God, am I ready to go home? It's chuffing freezing and I've got so lovely scarf. Oh my god, it's really warm as well. It's like ridiculously warm. My scarves aren't this warm. My scarves kind of just exist. And then this is just kind of like... It's, it feels like there's like a heater on my neck. That's how hot. It's actually hot. I can't actually... It's not even warm, it's hot. I'm kind of a fan of this scarf, actually. Might steal it. Nah, <laughs> gotta take it back. <laughs> I've got like her mittens in my house. She tried to give me her coat and some gloves. And no. I'll man it up. I don't care if it's three o'clock and two o'clock in the morning. I just, I just activate boss mode and just deflect all of this freezing cold air. Oh God, that cut was horrendous. She put it on and I'm like, oh my arm doesn't fit. I'm too long. And she put it on and I'm like, damn it, it fits. It doesn't fit. It was man, Jesus. Uh, that would have been embarrassing. I mean, I've got a vlog. I've got an appearance to keep up. You know what I mean? So, what's gone on today? We went to the thingy, we basically met at the bus stop there, uh, Shirley Morgan okay, was there? Uh, and then the girls came out later. Uh, Lovely was a little bit, little bit, little bit drunk, little bit. Uh, and I'm like stone dead sober, because I've got work tomorrow. Um, so I'm kind of like, I don't get annoyed, but I get, I don't know, I can't describe it. I really hate the fact that I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie to you, I enjoy it but I enjoy other things more. Um, I think tonight would have been a lot better if I wasn't going to work tomorrow, for obvious reasons. Um, and yeah, basically. And I think because like Lovely was like kind of drunk, I don't like her in that kind of situation or that kind of like environment. 
Um, and I don't, she wasn't drunk, tipsy. Um, I don't like her in that kind of environment because I can't protect her as well. She's more vulnerable and I get very like, like I'm on springs getting ready to like face up to someone at any moment in time. Um, but we got on the bus, got to town, went to uh, the first bar, bar that we always go to and that was better than the biggest club in Bath. Bath is not a clubbing city. Jesus, no. So, uh, went there and then there was actually music that was actually loud and there was actually bass that actually worked. Um, and then that was like the first time in a long time that I've been in the environment where it's kind of like a full club place and then Lovely's kind of like slipping through everyone and I've got to like follow her or whatever. And yeah, I don't, I hate that environment with a vengeance. I hate that. Ah, because I know that I can't fully defend her and I know that she's a lot stronger than me. I think that's what it is. I think it's jealousy. Uh, I know that she's a lot stronger than me. Uh, I don't like it, I think. Uh, I can't really explain it myself, to be honest with you. So we went there for like a short period of time because it was mentally packed. And then we went off and we went to this place that we know is terrible because we knew that it would still be empty even on the weekend before Christmas. Um, so we went there and we literally camped there all night. I bought a drink. And then uh, Sean bought me a drink because he owes me a drink. So I've technically had two Malibu and Cokes and a lemonade. Malibu and Coke and Malibu and lemonade. <sighs> Which is more than I said I would. But because everyone else is already like, they're all students now, aren't they? So they're already drunk loads. I'm just getting annoyed at people because they're drunk or like tipsy. I'm not getting annoyed at Lovely. I'm getting annoyed at people. So I'm like, well, I'm going to have to join in here or I'm just going to rage at someone. That's never a good thing. Um, so yeah, otherwise it was a nice-ish night. We stayed in that bar literally all night. Um, some people went over to the big the big club at a certain time. We didn't even see them go, they just kind of like disappeared. And then I got a text from Sean, like, where are you? I'm like, what the hell's you more than more to the point? Um, uh, and then, like, loads of people started to wean and then me and Lovely decided that we weren't going to go to Rock City. We were just going to stay where we were and talk until the bus came because we're relatively near the birds. Birds, piss off. No, it's not time to wake up yet. Go to sleep. So we decided that we'd just stay there and we stayed and chatted for a bit and talked to other people that we haven't seen in a long time. Uh, bumped into people like Joe, who was from who went to Bath University and then other people like Alex, oh my God, uh, Jean, blah, 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 blah. It was great. Um, we just needed to plan through. I'm trying to plan, I'm trying to figure out with Joe, like a plan for my birthday which is in February, because I'm taking two weeks off of work. I don't know whether to stay in Bath and go out on the Saturday night for my birthday, and then the weekend after Lovely comes down, or come to Nottingham and then like spend the weekend with parents and then go back down. I don't know what's best. I don't know what the best move there is. So I'm trying to decide. Uh, otherwise, what else? What else? Um, Yes, yeah, so and me and Lovely basically just sat talking for a bit, just us two, because everyone else had left. And then we got on the bus, got back home, Lovely gave me her scarf, blah, 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 blah. And it is now 10 past two in the morning. Uh, I've got to be up for work at four. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm working essentially quarter to six, because I've got to get there early and set stuff up till six. Ah, uh, with obviously breaks in between that I have to take. One of them I will take because I don't get paid for it. I, there's a, an hour break that I don't get paid for. So I'm definitely busy taking that one. I'm not working through that crap. Um, but otherwise, because of the job that I do, it's kind of like being on call. It's kind of like a phone call's notice. I'm called to go and do this job. Um, so it's very hard, especially with the amount of people who need to call me. Um, it's very hard to actually find time to have the other breaks that I get, which is another 45 minutes on top of my hour. So it's probably just going to be six hours, hour, five hours, or something like that, I think. Or maybe, oh, should we try and go for seven hours? Seven hours, four hours. Try and push it as late as possible, I think. But I've withdrawn some money from my account now. Even though I've technically thrown my accounts negative, it's only until we get paid next weekend, next week, um, but I can now, instead of like sitting around 
during my break, ran out of food to eat, I can now go and get like some energy foods or some Red Bull. It's probably gonna help me considering that I'm knackered or I will be knackered. I'm like closing my eyes on the bus. But yeah, tonight has been jolly good fun. I've really, in the end, it turned out really nice. I kind of like, it started off badly because I was, me and Lovely are a bit like off foot, off footish because we're not used to each other in that kind of environment anymore. Because since she's been to university, we haven't really been out, out. We went out, but then she didn't get, she didn't like drink beforehand or blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm not used to that situation. I haven't been used to having to like protect her in that situation. Even though she doesn't need protecting, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Essentially, I'm nearly home now. And this scarf is actually making my neck hot. Which is amazing. I need to find out what this is. Steal it. Is it black and white? If it's black and white, I can make out it's a guy's scarf. If it's purple, it might be a harder like, argument. But yeah, anyway. I'm going to get in. I'm going to eat some bread. Go to bed. <laughs> and then I'm going to get up early in the morning get driven to work. Thankfully, mother was, is offering to drive me because otherwise I'd be walking. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Oh, 12 hour shift tomorrow. Then the plan after that is to get in, eat, crash, just go upstairs and watch a film or something in bed. Uh, because I've got another shift on Sunday as well. No lines for the wicked, no lines for the wicked. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Tomorrow's a big day, first day of the turkeys, and first day of being in charge, being a manager. So it's gonna be fun. Oh, it's cold, I'll catch you later.